In this lesson, we'll recap what we've covered in this course. So all of the techniques and tools we've learned in this course comes down to this. Bringing our characters and objects to life in a way where it creates the illusion of life for the audience. So just to kind of break down what we see before us, I'll head over to Tools, Manage Layers, I'll go ahead and show you a few things. So I'll go ahead and scroll down. Here are the control objects, I'll go ahead and unhide them. And we see something that looks very familiar. So these are the curve shapes that are causing the character to move. So if I were to select the head control, press the E key to go to the rotate tool, notice this control will give us things like, in this case, a head nod. Yes, very cool. Great, let's go ahead and take a look at something else we are now familiar with. I'll go ahead and hide the control objects and show the envelope objects, which are the bones that make up this character. And to see this more clearly, we could even hide the character's mesh. So I head over to the animation character layer at the top and go ahead and choose hide. So here is the character skeleton. And again, it's very similar to our skeleton. There's the spine, there's the, the thigh and the shin bone. All right. And again, if you'd like to learn more about how to build control rigs, I would first start with the intro to rigging course just to become more familiar with the process. Then from there, you can move into the intro to character rigging course where we build an entire skeleton from scratch and then to get to a more advanced level for building a control rig which is what this control rig is you can then go ahead and take a look at our character rigging for production course but i'd like to thank you for watching and i truly hope you've learned something that will be of of use and value to you